the Biden administration will not send any diplomatic or official representation to the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics and Paralympic Games, given the PRC's ongoing genocide and crimes against uh, humanity in Xinjiang. Canada's ambassador to China, Dominic Barton, says he will resign from his post at the end of this year, now that the two Michaels have been returned. He says it was the honor of a lifetime to serve in that position to advocate for the return of the two Michaels, and he says now that that has been accomplished, Canada can move on in its relationship with China to focus on other priorities. But what other priorities does Dominic Barton mean? He didn't really articulate that, and we need to make sure we don't fall into the trap of pretending that the detention of the two Michaels was, was the only real problem that was going on between Canada and China, and that once we got over that, well, we pretty much got over the extent of our problems. Because the truth is, in some sense, it is just the beginning. And the conditions that allowed China to think that they could arbitrarily hold these two men hostage, well, those are conditions that remain, and that is an attitude that we are gonna be dealing with moving forward. So here's Dominic Barton's statement. He said, I believe that the relationship between Canada and China is of critical importance to our future. No argument there. As I leave my role, my successor will be on strong footing to further this relationship, build on our people-to-people -people relations, trade and investment ties, while continuing to stand firm on human rights and the rule of law and addressing outstanding consular and market access issues that exist. Okay, it's interesting that he says people-to-people -people relations, because clearly there are many people in Canada who have deep affinity for, for the people in China, for Chinese people uh, in that country, for Chinese culture, for heritage, of course, and no one's arguing with that. So it's, it's nice to see that he's acknowledging that one can, one can have care and affinity for Chinese people and not support the Chinese government. He didn't put those remarks there, but he's an ambassador. We shouldn't expect him to say those things. So, you know, that's interesting remarks, but he keeps going on about business access. And Dominic Barton had been previously criticized for, for basically encouraging too much business relationship between Canadian firms and China without dealing with some of the major problems that are going on behind the scenes there. Problems that are leading Joe Biden, for instance, to say there's going to be a diplomatic boycott of the Olympics. So American athletes, they will be allowed to go and attend the Olympics in Beijing, but there will be no U.S. government officials there. They're certainly not going to be posing for smiling photos with uh, uh, Chinese Communist Party officials. They're not doing that at all. As the president has told President Xi, standing up for human rights is in the DNA of Americans. Uh, we have a fundamental commitment to promoting human rights and we feel strongly in our position and we will continue to take actions to advance human rights in China and beyond. Almost every day there are new headlines that underscore why the decoupling away from China is something that needs to happen for the US, for Canada, for other nations. The most recent one is US intelligence is warning that China is trying to build a military outpost in the Atlantic at Equatorial Guinea, negotiating with them to make that happen. Sun columnist Christina Blizzard was recently pointing out that a lot of people are talking about Barbados leaving the Commonwealth, becoming a republic. Oh, should Canada do the same? As if this is all about ghosting away from the Queen. But Christina Blizzard pointed out that China just beforehand actually gave Barbados almost $1 billion for various projects. So this idea that China is trying to do a lot to bring other countries into their sphere of orbit. All these things matter when we talk about the Canada-China relationship moving forward. It's why uh, previous conservative leaders, Andrew Scheer and Aaron O'Toole, have said that we need to get out of the Asian Investment Infrastructure Bank. What is that? Well, it's a bank that China's created recently under Xi Jinping uh, to basically take world finance and try and push it away from a U.S. dominant world towards a more Beijing-led global finance system. So there's the World Bank, there's the IMF, those institutions. Now there's one uh, led by China. Canada is actually in that, and there's questions about whether we should or shouldn't be. So Dominic Barton makes some interesting points in his statement, certainly, and it's great news that the two Michaels are back. But our problems with China are not over. In fact, in some sense, they're, they're moving into a new chapter, and that new chapter is just beginning.